Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now we're talking about assessing the knowledge of God. <laughs> Praise God. Listen, it, it, it's so amazing. And, and I bless God for the testimonies that are coming in. And we, we, we got talking about marriage. I, you know, I don't know how we're talking about marriage and we're talking about assessing. But you see, that's what it is. The knowledge of God in every situation is what brings the blessing. <laughs> Praise God. So, so when you seek God's knowledge in your marriage, Listen, it doesn't matter what the situation. Many times I found, you know, when, when we talk to people that are having issues in their marriage, and then, you know, sometimes say, look, I'm going to tell you what you should do. Say, Pastor, I don't think I want to do it. I don't think I want to do anything. Why he or she should do this, or he or she is supposed to? Come on, you don't solve issues that way. <laughs> it's God. That's what I said earlier. I said the first thing you must do is accept responsibility. Responsibility for what? It's not my fault. Accept responsibility to make your marriage work. Accept it. You know, let's get to that point. I, 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 and the beauty of this, you know, sometimes you, you find in homes, you know, you are talking to a couple and then the wife said, can you imagine I'm the one spending the money, I'm the one making the money for the home, my husband does nothing. Hey, it's not a problem. You know why it's not a problem? Simple principle. Give and it shall be what? Given unto you. So if you are the one giving in your home, do it with joy because God loves a cheerful giver. So don't give murmuring. Don't, don't, oh, I'm the one paying the house rent. Don't murmur. If you murmur, you will lose your blessing because you're going to attract depression. See? And that's what you attract. But hey, bless God that at this time, he has given you the ability to give. Praise God. They said, mm, but, 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 but well, how am I giving? I'm paying house rent. It's giving. You know, sometimes people don't realize this. You, you don't realize that you, you, you can give a gift to your wife and attract God's blessing for it. You can give a gift to your husband and attract God's blessing for it. You say, how do I do that? Very simple. It's still the same principle. You are giving. Remember, Jesus said, no, no, God actually said this in, in Genesis. He said this to Noah. As long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest shall not cease. So I'm the one paying the school fees right now. Goody! Seed time and harvest. There is a harvest. You know, that's why before you pay that school fees, before you pay that house rent, you go before the Lord and say, Father, I do this joyfully. I'm not doing this because my husband is lazy. And I'm talking about if you're the lady doing it. I'm not doing this because my husband is lazy. I'm doing this because you have given me the opportunity right now to do this. And I bless you for it. I release it as a seed because I love my husband. I love my children. I love my home and, and the marriage that you have given to me. And I bring it under you, Father. You will meet our need. Hallelujah. Praise God. See, excitement. Now, hear me and this is the truth. This doesn't deny that the pressure will be there. Now, that's what the devil is good at. He puts so much pressure on you. He puts so much pressure on you. Oh, all your salary, you're going to use it to pay school fees. So what are you going to live on tomorrow? But Jesus said, take no thought for tomorrow. Does that mean we should live a careless life? No, that's not what Jesus was talking about. What Jesus was saying, look, when you have to take a decision for today, take it for today without minding what tomorrow is going to be like. That's what Jesus was talking about. He's not saying, ah, Jesus will take no thought for tomorrow. Ah, I'm going to resign my job. Oh, mm, I'm not going to, ah, what, ah, ah, tomorrow will take care of itself. No, that's not what Jesus was talking about. He was saying, if you need to do something today, do it. See, that's why scripture tells us, look, withhold not good when it's in your power to give it and do it today. Don't, don't say, you know, you, you, you want to pay your, sal your staff salary and you have the money and you say, no, I'm waiting for more money to come before I pay. Them. Pay! Don't think about tomorrow. You've got to pay their, 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 their salary. Pay it! What you have to do today, do it. The bill you have to do, pay today. Pay! Don't wait for tomorrow. Pay it now. What's going to happen tomorrow? Oh, the Lord is going to bless you. 
That's the only thing you can see for tomorrow. God is going to bless you. Praise God. He said, but there is no but to it. I've taught you this about seed time and harvest. One time we did a series on it. You take that money for that bill and say, Father, I receive your word that when I give, it shall be given unto me. So I, I'm giving this bill to, to the power holding authority or to, 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 to the water board authority. I'm giving this bill, which is my tax, to the government. I release it as a seed before you, Lord. Because you say we should obey you know, those in authority. And the things they tell us to do, we should do. So Lord, I, I obey and I bring forth my tax. But I bring it before you and I release it through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, when you live life this way, you will never be behind. Now I'm talking to you. you, you even, even though you are the husband, don't, you know, sometimes say, eh, 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 because I'm the husband, I have to fend for everybody. I have to get this. I have to get, come on, don't, sh keep quiet. Don't, don't talk like that. See the blessing of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See the blessing of the Lord. You know, even if both of you have to put monies together, okay, oh, um, this is what I have. Do all things with sincerity. If that's all you have, then that's all you have. Don't go hoard your money and say, my wife is working. Okay, bring your own part. The one who gives the biggest gets blessed the biggest. It's as simple as that. So if you hoard your money and you say, oh, my wife should bring your money, don't be surprised. Years down the line, you find out that your wife is getting more money than you are getting today. It just didn't happen. God is honoring who's giving. Praise God. Now, this is how you do it. Forget about everything that is a wicked thought. Accept God's thoughts and live and be happy. Because I've got to stop now today. Praise God. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.